This is the Bosch RA1181 router table in a Bosch 1617 EVS router. It's been in use now for well over a year. You may have already seen it in action in the Cubic Art display video or forming roundovers and destroying a couple keyhole slot bits in the Pony Keg Scon Slide video. The fence has a shop back fitting for dust collection and T slots for accessories like the feather boards that come with it. There's a good sized cast table and a switch with two outlets so one switch starts both the router and the shop back for dust collection. The motor drops out for big changes and then easily pops back in to get back to work. Here's how it all went together. Here are the parts prior to assembly. The manual is very good and the process is straightforward. Start at the beginning and follow the steps until you're out of parts. Here's something handy the factory did. The eight bolts needed to attach the top to the legs come with the washers and the nuts screwed on so you don't have to hunt for them. The table was very heavy and leaving it hang over the edge of the bench works good to put the legs on. And then flip it back over to put the other four bolts in. It's pretty stable now. With the webbing in here, it's a little tight for a socket and ratchet. These box end ratcheting wrenches are pretty handy for tight spots. And way cooler than a fidget spinner. There are eight bolts that adjust the height of the router plate. Fuss and fit until there are no rattles and it's flush with the table using a straight edge. This router is adjustable from above the table. This sounds like a very handy feature, however I almost never use it. You need to reach under the table to unlock the motor and with the open design the adjustment knob is right there and no tools are needed.
The router base bolts to the insert plate. The plate is held firmly on the leveling screws with four bolts. The fence is secured with bolts with large nuts that can be tightened by hand. There's some micro adjustment capability by just loosening and moving one end at a time so the fence only moves half as much in the middle by the bit. You know what I mean. Here's the guard and the starter pin for use with a bearing equipped bit like when you're edge forming or pattern routing. The red parts are inserts for different size bits. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you're so inclined. Thanks for watching.